Lady on a Steamboat. Today we're going to take a look at a Lady on a Steamboat. I learned this from a recording of Lonnie Robertson. It's kind of my interpretation of what he's doing. Probably not totally exact, but gets you in the ballpark anyway. Uh, Lonnie was a great fiddler from Long Run, Missouri. He was uh, born in the early 1900s. Uh, played in Springfield with his wife Thelma on the radio station there and recorded a bunch of great 45s. Uh, you can get recordings of Lonnie at missourifiddling.bandcamp.com. Uh, I'm not affiliated with that website at all, but it's a great resource for tons of really killer Missouri fiddling and definitely worth your time to go check out. So hop on over there. Also, um, I'm going to play the parts and break down the phrases coming up here, but if any of that is a little too fast for you, don't forget that you can click on the little gear in YouTube and uh, adjust the playing speed. So... Uh, Take it down as much as you need to to figure out the notes and the bowing, and good luck. Here we go. All right, starting with the A part, I'm going to play it once all the way through here, and then we'll break down each phrase. So here is the A part. Okay, here's the first phrase. Starts on a G note, second finger on your E string, and a down bow. Do that again. Down, up, down, down, up, down, up. Second phrase goes like this. Starts on your third finger on your E string, down bow. It's a D note. Okay, third phrase, we're going to start um, on your F sharp note, first finger, E string, but up bow. Again. G note, second finger E string. That's down, up, 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 down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. One more time.
And then here's the fifth phrase. We just ended um, on an up bow, and this is, we're continuing that, so you're still going up here on an up bow. It starts again on your second finger, on your E string, your G note, and the phrase sounds like this. before that into that just to kind of tie it together is going to go like this okay so you play the a part twice and then here's the b part again same thing i'll play it all the way through and then um I'll break down each phrase like I did before. So here is the B part in full. Okay, so the first phrase starts with that. A you know, nice thing that happens in G all the time with your third finger and your first finger playing a G and a B note. And we're going to slide into that first finger B. We'll do that again. I'm going down, a little pulse, then up, up. Again, a little pulse on the end. Okay, and then the second phrase is again that same double stop on a down bow. And then uh, another double stop we're going to do right after that, where you're going to use your first finger to play both of the middle strings. So first it's Again, that's a slide, and then you put your two down, 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 up, and then I do a little hammer on, so I play both my middle strings, and then my third finger, so it's open, open, one, one. Then the third phrase starts on your open D and it's going to have a long down bow, three in a row, and then all separate and a little pulse at the end. So again. And then the final phrase starts on your G note, up on your E string again. Again. So that's the whole tune. Uh, we'll 
play it once here together. You can see the thing in its entirety. Um, I might, might try to make up a little guitar backing track so that you can practice with it. Um, I'll leave that in the comments if I get to it later. So here we go, Lady on a Steamboat. There you go. Good luck.